Hi Aquarius, welcome to your general reading for October. This is Mary and this is Leo Sunlight Insight. Thank you so much for stopping by and watching. If you're new, welcome, returning. Thank you so much for coming back. Please check the description box for everything you need to know. Tons and tons of stuff there, so please do go check that out. Thank you to all my new subscribers, those who have reached out for personal readings, those who have blessed me with energy exchange as in tip donation to the channel. All the support you give the channel really does mean a lot to me. Helps to grow the channel, so Thank you, thank you, thank you. And if this doesn't resonate for you, you can find uh, past Aquarius playlist links down below in the description box and maybe something there will resonate for you. And I would say watch it anyway, disregard the dates. I do consider them all timeless. So if something catches your eye, I'd say watch it. And if you do like my style and how I read, please do like, share, subscribe, comment. I love to read the comments. Hit the bell, you'll be notified when I post new readings. I do four readings a month for all the signs, all different. So don't miss out on that. Okay, and thank you. All right, so let's see what we have for Aquarius. So this is a general reading, but if you can fit it into your life in any way, shape, or form, then please feel free to do that. But I will read it as a general reading, as I do love reading separate. Okay, so Aquarius. This is a Zodiac deck. So whatever we get here, if you don't resonate with this part, that's totally fine. Not every single part will resonate with every single person. And it may not even be a reading at all. So uh, I'd say hold out for the next reading if it doesn't resonate for you. Okay. All that information is in the description box. So for Aquarius. Aquarius. What kind of energy may be around Aquarius for October? General reading spirit, please. Thank you. What do we have for Aquarius? Taurus. Oh. Some may be dealing with a Taurus in some way, shape, or form. All right. And if not, that's totally fine. Or you could have it in your chart or have it in their chart. Taurus does represent the um, Hierophant in uh, the Tarot, which is about, you know, faith, spirituality, uh, committing to something, commitment, marriage, doing what's more moral, right, and just, values, integrity. That sort of energy, um, very structure type of energy also. All right, so we'll see if that means anything. So let's get a card for your energy. What's going on with Aquarius and October Spirit, please? Thank you so much. Can you have one card for Aquarius? Trapped in fear. Oh, no, Aquarius. This is the Eight of Swords energy, ear energy. Some of you feel like you're trapped in something here with the Eight of Swords. This is a mental entrapment. Can't get out of thoughts in your mind. Wow. Let's see what's on the top here. But we have Heart Chakra here uh, on the top of the deck, which is four. So maybe, I don't know, something, maybe you need to work on your, your Heart Chakra. Uh, heal it. Clear it. Clear the energy. Maybe uh, have some, maybe you need some chakra healing. Or oh, there's a need here to open your heart to something. Hmm. I don't know. Let's see what's on the bottom. Destiny. So this is the Wheel of Fortune. Sagittarius energy. So this is, you know, fate, destiny, timing, things going in a better direction, something meant for you. Timing and destiny here with the Wheel of Fortune. Bringing, bringing in better luck, timing, fame. Uh, I was going to say fame. Well, maybe fame for some of you. Fortune, uh, growth, abundance. Hmm. But something uh, with your heart chakra. Feeling like you're trapped in something. I don't know. Let's let's see what's going on. What is going on with you, Aquarius? What is going on with Aquarius? So the Taurus does represent, you know, commitment. So if you some of you are married or in a commitment. And that could represent the heart chakra, you know. Maybe you're feeling trapped uh, in this or something. But something will happen. Fate and destiny is here for you. And 10 is about an ending. Um, but then there's always a new beginning. So whatever's destined for you on your path, I think it's going to come in for you. I don't know if it'll necessarily be in October, but... All right, so let's get, let's clarify the energy here for Aquarius, for October Spirit, please. Thank you so much. 
why is all this energy here for October for um Aquarius? So we have the chariot. Cancer energy. So this is taking swift action movement forward, moving towards your destiny. Moving towards your destiny with success, determination, drive, ambition, balance here with the chariot. So and seven divinely guided number here with seven very spiritual divinely guided so and with the destiny there so something's destined here that um it's either you're going to take action out of this mental fear to force to something that's destined for you or i feel like destiny is just going to bring forth for you something that's meant for you here with the chariot energy very quickly I don't know. So let's get a couple more for the energy here. Why is the chariot here? Oh, I got two. Is exactly what I wanted. So we have the two of air. That's your energy. Libra, Gemini, Aquarius. Very indecisive energy. You may need to make a decision about something. And feel feeling very, very uh, conflicted, confused, indecisive type of energy. But now we have the page of air, which is your energy again. So this is about communication. Um, this is the uh, yeah page of air, communication. So you may be um, doing research online, keeping tabs on somebody, um, keeping a close eye on somebody around you. It's also an energy of you know open, honest communication. It's also to me an energy of doing research, whether you're doing research online or something of that nature. All right, so so I feel like you need to make a decision here. Now we get the moon energy and the eight of water. Wow, so so moon, Cancer, Pisces. This is, this is not seeing things clearly. Lies, deceit, um, sort of energy not knowing all the facts of something. That could be why you're doing sort of like research online in a way. Um, let me get that there. Or, I just wanna make sure you can see all the cards, okay. So there could be things that you that are unclear to you with the moon energy that you're indecisive about because you don't know all the facts, you don't know everything you need to know so that could be why you're doing uh, research online or something like that before you move forward. But you're wanting to move forward. And now you have the Eight of Cups energy, Eight of Water, Cancer, Scorpio, Pisces. This is an energy of walking away. So it's like you, you're ready to walk away and take action forward, movement forward and walk away from the situation here that you just feel trapped in. You feel like destiny. There's something else out there that's destined for you. And I don't. I feel like you don't think it's in the situation you're in now, but you're indecisive on how to move forward, get out of the situation. You're doing research. You're looking at all your options with the page of air energy. All right, so let's get your actual situation. Let's get your actual situation. Wow. Okay. What do we have here? Right, we'll take these three here. So we have, now we have the eight of air again. Here it's showing up again here. Eight of air twice. Of trapped in your mind, trapped in fear, trapped in a situation that you don't want to be in, I feel. So that, yeah, your situation now is being trapped in a situation you really don't want to be in. And now we have the page of water. Um, two pages here, a lot of communication. You know, and this can be, um, Cancer, Scorpio, Pisces, this can be messages, uh, apologies. It's usually like loving communication um, or, you know, affectionate communication, or it could be apologies here. It's like, hmm. And then you have the five of air, five of swords energy, which is your energy again. And this is, to me, an energy of, can be an energy of getting ahead at all costs, uh, self, you know, very selfish kind of energy, ego driven kind of energy. It's like, I want to do what I want to do and I really don't care about anything else. 
But I also take it as as an energy as I want to get out of a situation and I don't care how, when, who, why I do it or by what means I have to do it. I just need to get out, get away, do what I need to do. It's like you want to get out and get away and do what you need to do because you're stuck and you want to walk away. But things are unclear to you about how do I do this? So that's why you're indecisive before you take action. It's like you want to take action out of this. You feel like there's something destined better for you. You know, the page of water could just be apologies to certain people of, you know, I just got to do this for, for me and I, you know, either you're going to apologize or not. I don't know. So let's get a couple more clarifiers here um, for this. couple more clarifiers for this, for your actual situation, for Aquarius. So now we have the two of water, which is the two of cups and the three of water. So we have the two and the three of cups here, Cancer Scorpio Pisces. So the two of cups here talks about, um, you know, coming together with like-minded people. And usually in a love reading, it's about soulmate union. But as the two of cups in this type of reading, it could be, you know, friendship. It can be coming together with like-minded people, that sort of energy. And then you have the three of cups, which is rejoicing, celebrating, coming together with friends and family and having a good time. So that could just be the energy here of, you know, reaching out, connecting to a friend or somebody here and then like going out and having a good time, <laughs> you know, maybe just to try to get your mind Maybe you're going out and having a good time with friends that you feel like soulmates can be friends, family, you know, not just a lover. So it's like you go out with your soulmates, your besties, your best friends, have a good time to try to get your mind out of this uh, mental entrapment. But you got this page of cups right in the middle of your spread. So, um... I don't know, maybe you go out and have a good time, get drunk, then you apologize. I, I don't know. <laughs> it's either that or, um, you know, it's like, I'm not really going to apologize for what I think I need to do. Because this five of air energy is like, somebody doesn't apologize. It's just do and go, do what they need to do when they really don't care about anything else. So, you know, she got her leg up, like, just kicking, kicking it back, like, yeah. I'm not, you know, I'm just going to do what I need to do. And, you know, so I don't know. Let's see. Um, I don't know. This could be apologies or it could be like, you know, I know I should apologize, but I'm trapped in my head and maybe it's ego and it's like, I'm not going to apologize. I know I should, but I'm not <laughs> type of energy. All right, so let's get two for your advice. So that's three. So we got the Ten of Pentacles here. So this is stability, growth, expansion. That's the earth energy. This is the um, growth abundance for the long term. This is like the legacy dynasty of the family from the grandparents to the grandchildren, you know, have, being very secure and stable, having, you know, all the finances you need, all the resources you need. And then you have temperance here with patience, which is Sagittarius energy. So this is a balanced energy, peace, harmony, patience. Um, it's a divine energy. So, I mean, your advice is to have patience. You know, maybe you want to move forward. It could be anything. It could be, you know, um, maybe you want to leave a job and go do something else or you want to leave a relationship or you want to move. I mean, it could be anything here, but it's telling you as much as you want to move forward. I think you need to uh, really find out all the facts you need to know about how to make this happen for you, how to move forward. Um, I mean, your heart chakra may be blocked because you have the page here, but then maybe that's why you find it hard to communicate or apologize to people. But um, you need to have patience, though, moving forward towards your Ten of Pentacles because the Ten of Pentacles are very slow energy. Uh, pentacles are long-term slow energy. So 
It may take a while and may take time as much as you want to rush it. Moving forward in a new direction, um, you're just going to need patience because it may take time. So let's get a couple more. So you get the Six of Fire and the King of Earth. So here is the uh, Virgo, um, Taurus, Cap Taurus Virgo Capricorn with the King of Earth. Very uh, practical, smart, analytical, um, stable, grounded type of energy. And then you have the Six of Fire. So this is success moving forward. So... I mean, things will move forward for you. You will be very, I mean, this doesn't have to, it could be somebody around you helping you or somebody very stable around you or just your energy of you will get to that place of being, you know, maybe your own, you know, an entrepreneur or business owner or your own boss or something like that. But your stability will come. It's just going to take time and patience. But the success and victory is there. You just need patience. Because I feel like wherever you are now, you just feel very, very trapped. Um, and maybe you're afraid to leave the situation for some reason. That's why this says, you know, trapped in fear. So let's get your outcome. The Wheel of Fortune again. So we have the Wheel of Fortune twice. So whatever path you feel like you need to go on here is destined for you because we have the wheel of fortune twice it's fate destiny timing it's all in timing um better fate and fortune abundance and growth so again 10 as you know 10 there 10 there with the wheel is about endings and new beginnings so let's get more so we got the five of water and we get the five of earth. Wow, two fives. Fives are about change. So the five of cups talks about sadness, sorrow, hurt. And then the five of earth. Um, five of pentacles does speak of uh, being abandoned, lonely, left out in the cold. Can be monetary lack also. Uh, feeling neglected. So you're either feeling um, neglected, hurt, and sorrowful for some reason. Or you're very worried about your monetary uh, finances. But, you know, Destiny's Wheel is here to say that where whatever direction you go into in the future, uh, you will have your Ten of Pentacles. So I don't think you have to worry. I think right now you're in a state of worry. We're, you know, very worried about things and feeling very, like, emotional about it also. All right, so let's see what's on the bottom of the deck. So we have the nine of earth. So this is a single energy. So here's the Virgo, Taurus, Capricorn again. Be very uh, dependable on yourself. Re you know, self-reliant. You know, making your pentacles. Being very stable and grounded. Having growth and abundance. Five of wands. So this is conflict. Um, can be inner conflict or conflict around you. Competition. Five of fire there. The world. So, you know, earth energy here. So cycles will be closing and new cycles will be starting with the world energy. Ace of earth. So there's your brand new beginning. Very stable, sturdy, grounded beginning. Uh, handed you from, from the divine energy. It's a, like a golden opportunity. It's, you know, security for the long term. Building on a solid foundation. Now you get the queen of earth. So we have the king of earth there, and now we have the queen. So you will be very stable in the future. Independent, stable, grounded, secure, abundant, successful, smart, analytical, practical emperor. So some of you may be your own boss. You may be an entrepreneur. You'll be in charge, you know, taking the lead in control of your destiny, in control of your destiny as the emperor energy here so yeah nine of ears so you do have your energy stress worry anxiety here with the nine of swords but you will be this queen of pentacles very stable and grounded abundant with this brand new beginning with the ace of pentacles changing you know change ending cycles new cycles you know you may have inner conflict or conflict around you but 
very conflicted on how is this going to work moving forward. But you will be stable, sturdy, and grounded on your own two feet and uh, very abundant here again. So I do see abundance and uh, all things going in your favor. You just need uh, patience, time and patience. All right. As much as you feel trapped right now. In the hot chakra there may be just an uh, extra message for some of you that if you're uh, if you know anything about chakras, your heart chakra may need some clearing and healing, or you need to open your heart to others around you. All right, so let's get some extra messages for you, Aquarius, for October. This is your general reading. So we have love from your parents. No matter what, your mother and father love you as much as they can. So that could be a message for some of you. Thankful. Think about the people and things you feel grateful for. So no matter what you've been through or you know what you're going through now or whatever is to come, there's an energy here to be very thankful. All right, let's see if there's anything else for Aquarius. Believe in yourself. See yourself doing well, and you will. Exactly. Exactly. With the Ace of Pentacles, the Nine, the Ten, the Wheel twice. Um, what else do we have? The World. So just believe. All right. Let's see what's on the bottom of the deck. Forgive. It's time to let go of anger or blame. So I don't know if that's a message for anybody, but it's telling you to forgive. We have pets. So you... Love and understand animals. Maybe a message for some. Okay. So, Aquarius, I do see uh, fate, destiny on your side. Uh, abundance coming in in the future. Whatever you're trapped in now, um, you'll figure it out. Destiny in the Wheel of Fortune is somehow will bring it in for you with the chariot there. So it might be in un some unexpected way where things are just going to work out and move forward and you will have a positive outcome even though you don't feel it right now that could be why your heart is blocked okay good luck to you aquarius and um sending you many light love and blessings and as i always say with my channel is to always always shine your light